Welcome to our channel. If you like to support our channel, please share it with your friends. In addition, please subscribe to our channel and click the bell button to ensure that you always receive the most recent information from us. The Range Rover Sport is a big beast, sharing its wheelbase and width with the Range Rover, just a little shorter in length and lighter in price, sporty people apparently having less luggage and less ready cash. Cache, however, it provides in large doses, with an upright but swept back profile and clean sides unblemished by gaudy emblems or excessive body lines. Discussing design on SUVs can be a bit like picking tile, it's a brick, choose a color, and the sport is indeed brickish, but the jaunty rear spoiler and squared off exhaust tips balance out the front end snootiness with a promise of energetic performance. The most energetic performance comes from the Range Rover Sport P531 edition, starting price $122,975, which boasts a 523 HP twin turbo 4.4 liter V8 under its tall hood. The P530 growls in rips and grips, although a fair amount of its oral aggression is tuned for the cockpit only. Outside, it's just a grumble. Quiet it may be, but it's got plenty of pull, turning steep hills into barely noticeable bumps in the road and accelerating out of corners with serious enthusiasm. Range Rover says it will go from 0 to 60 in 4.3 seconds. If anything, the 4.4 liter is too eager initially, with a jumpy throttle and a hard upshift, even in its most keyed down comfort mode. The P440E plug-in hybrid in the P400SE and P360SE with mild hybrid assist give up two cylinders and some horsepower but are smoother off the line and easier on the wallet. Toward the end of 2023, all models will be available with the optional Stormer handling pack that saved us from living the rest of our lives stuck in a Spanish alley, but for the first year, only the P531st edition gets those goodies, so we'll concentrate on the V8, as is the American way.